Fight Hustler here. Today I'm gonna go thrifting with some random people. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Bonafide Hustler channel. And today we're gonna go thrifting with some random people. Um, they're gonna be here soon, so let's get into my car. Let's get ready. Whoa, they're all here actually. So I'm sitting here with some wonderful people. Introduce yourself, we got Gino. Gino. We have Rick. Rick. We Noah. have Noah, and we have Jonathan. What up? So this was uh, from a kind of like an open call thing that I did maybe a week ago on YouTube. So if you hit the bell button next to the subscribe button, you uh, absolutely can be one of the first ones to do one of these hot shots or something like that with me for the next one that we do. Anyways, we're about to go to the old lady thrift store and do some thrifting today and maybe close it with some tacos. We want you guys to join. Let's get to the old lady thrift store. The line is gonna be crazy. I wanna take these guys to some fun stuff. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. All right, you guys ready to wait in line? <laughs> no. <laughs> so here is the line. It's probably not very big, but that's good. It will be big by the time this place opens. All right, so the line is really not that big, guys. What do you guys nice. think? I awesome. like it. Yeah. Hey, guys, have you guys ever have you guys ever watched the video or videos where the line is huge in the video? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. All right, so this is that thrift store right here. Yeah, we're super find some good stuff today. We're all like curious about how the YouTube videos go down. I'm pumped up to be in the spaceship, which is cool. So, yeah, this is it. We're sitting right here. We're gonna get a little cheddar cheat sheet going on here. Let's see if we see anything in there. Oh man, there's randoms. Oh yeah. All right, so here's the line right now. We it's about 9:58. Two more minutes, and we are here. And the line is there now, all the way down there. We're about to check out to see if we find any cheddar in this place. It's gonna be chaotic here in a second. Hi. Hey. Hi. Good All to right. see you. Hi, guys. All right. We're going to go cheddar hunting. Here we go. Gino went way to the back. All right. We'll see. We'll see. So I told him the sections that I like to go to. So the hat section is pretty cool. Some Yeti hat, Solomon hat, some shoes. What did you find there? Well, that's pretty interesting. And leather bag. Cool. Who makes? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, that feels good. I don't even have to like. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. That's a good one. I like that. Okay, so you're gonna get some Tevas. What do you think you're gonna get on that? Like 30 I'm gonna to put them up 30, 50? I'm, uh, I'm gonna. The comps are all over the place. Probably about 34. Okay, 34. I got a little surfer hat and some other couple things that I'm gonna be looking up here in a second. But um, and also got a vintage trucker, trucker-ish hat. So let's see what else I find. All right, so what's up? You know. We're finding some things, and we're gonna go to another thrift store here in a second. We'll show you what we find in the car. I picked these up. But I know the bo the bottom of it. So like when you look at this stuff that says it's new, look at the bottom. See how this is all been taped and everything. Mm -hmm. So a hundred percent is not new. First of all, now, maybe the other ones are, but I don't know. You have to be really careful. And plus, the box is all bent up, so that immediately screams to me like no Amazon. At least change your condition on Amazon to reflect all this. Walking out with that bag, right? Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, bags to bucks. That, that looks good. Nice feel yeah, that bag. Nice Everyone bag. needs to feel that bag and you understand why he bought it. Yeah, that's See nice. what I'm talking about? Pretty awesome hatchet. Hammer. Hammer and hatchet. Like King Cutter. Pretty nice. Probably about 100 bucks or so. Is this a booth deal or? No. eBay. 100 bucks, I think. Look at these hats. <laughs> There's one box. right there. A little mobile. One. Yeah, we got a mobile nice. hat. It's gonna be in the booth for around I 20 bucks. These, the, the high top Look at that. the Velcro, and I know you had a few pair of those. Look at the last one. You see the last one? I didn't see That's the really cool. Too. There's a oh, vintage cool. Wolf Creek, like Colorado hat in there. Anyways, pretty nice. Right. Next thrift store is the Lake Austin Goodwill. Everything's riding on what Noah's gonna find today. You find some. <laughs> Hey, you got these to choose from, guys. You guys want the one with the hair, the hair, the hair. Into the Goodwills we go. This is like bag section number one. It's kind of like interesting. Sometimes you find some gold in here, but sometimes you don't. All right. All right, Gino, what you find in there? You looking around? Found some Uggs, all right. Get in some Uggs. All kinds of random shoes and stuff. Still trying though, right? I'm still trying, still looking around. Okay, so Noah hasn't found anything yet. Rick is buying something right there. I'm looking to test them, but oh, it's like a baby thing. These like vintage ones. Yeah. Baby baby monitors like vintage ones. Two bucks. Interesting. You gonna go for it? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. Contemplating on getting them, but yeah. I don't know. They are kind of. Weird. We'll see if you end up going in the spaceship with that. Pop on these G D Phi orthopedic walking shoes. They're about twelve sixty five out the door. This should sell for around sixty to eighty bucks, especially in this colorway. Gino, what do you think that's gonna sell for? 
I don't know, I'll give like 20, 25 bucks for it. I haven't seen a single thing of this Goodwill for two bucks in like forever. That's is crazy. That a baby monitor, is that what they Yeah, mean? it's like a baby monitor. It's like ET days. Look at that thing. He popped on those shoes. Got some Rock and Republic stuff. Uh, just you can just, right yeah, right yeah. there. Sure Howler Brothers is a really good brand. So if you ever see this in San Antonio, it's good because you'll end up probably selling it to somebody in Austin or Dallas. Eight bucks for the Howler Brothers shirt. You can sell these for around 40 to 50. Uh, if you get the zip-up hoodies, you're talking like 50 plus. They have jackets, vests. Look for this tag, but more importantly, look for the monkey right there. All right, we're out of the car. We're at Taco Deli, the original, first real location. The original thing is actually a, uh, like a trailer truck, but anyways. We are right on the edge of the Barton Creek Greenbelt, which is down there. We got a lot of outside seating at this Taco Deli. You've had it, right? Taco Deli? Yeah. Right We've all had Taco Deli here then, right? Yeah, We've all had Taco Deli. Have you had it? No, I've never had Taco Deli. Oh, it's terrible. All right, so we got some stuff from Taco Deli. We have the chips, we have the salsa. I'm doing the Roja with the Doña on top. And that is what's going on right now. We're waiting for our tacos. And uh, we're gonna make Rick try this first. Yeah, get a little bit of the green. Now it's a little different. Look at that. Uh -oh. Can you tell the difference? It should be different, but good. Not coming yet, but I'm it. <laughs> yeah, very hot. Yeah. So we all got our tacos. Should be good to go. And I gotta put the Instagram story together. You guys better be uh, following me on Instagram. It's not what this video is all about, but if you wanna see like quicker videos and don't have to wait for my uploads, then yeah. Taco Deli good. Yes. Is Taco Excellent. Deli good? Excellent. Yeah? Yes. And yes? Excellent. Yes. Okay, so don't move here. Worst thrifting town, worst tacos ever. You never need to move in Austin, Texas. Don't come to Austin, Texas. Please don't come. Prices are way too high. <laughs> yeah, the prices are actually, they're pretty high. Dude. That's that, That's actually a fact. Okay, we're at the Lamar Goodwill. Everyone's getting out on the spaceship. I'm gonna find some cheddar here. Almost definitely for sure on this one, you'll see. Should be some cheddar here. Man, they've changed so much stuff up. Looks like he's heading to the back section. He might have seen it on my videos. This is interesting. This is a Thule Rolly, but it's missing the pack at the edge. But wasn't this for like the N64 back in the day? Uh, we're looking around. I think they're moving a lot of this inventory to the next Goodwill that's like gonna open in about a week down the road. So, not that many items in this one, honestly, but still, I think I'll find something. One of us is gonna find something good. We'll see. We're walking out with some shoes. Yeah, I got these and cool. P. He's got those? Yeah. So, what'd you get there, man? Smart circuits. Uh, this is new and never been used. Oh, cool. Yeah, you know, 25, 30 bucks. It was, uh, yeah, they're, uh, oh, yeah, it looks like it was just like some toy. Yeah. Okay, I mean, some gift. Uh, what else you got there? Shoes. 10 bucks, specialized shoes. This in this market, about 30 bucks. Yeah. You can go locally on this all day. How, what kind of shoes are those? Uh, How much you pay? Picolinos. Oh, pick, Picolinos. Yeah, yeah. I've just started picking those up. They have a pretty good resale. What do you think? 40, 50? I'm probably mid 30s. Mid 30s, how much you buy? I paid nine. Nine bucks. Ah, right, there you go, man. All right, last stop. This Goodwill Boutique, 9th Street, Austin, Texas. We're all walking up. Hopefully we'll find something good here. You never know. Where's my cheddar? <laughs> it's in here, I think. I want it, and I want it now. <laughs> Stop that. I was about to say, these look like Subos, but... Looks like some steampunk rifles and stuff right there. Salmon X Ultras. Live strong challenge bag, probably Nike it is. Nope. Look at this Polar Ralph Lauren expedition hat. He's got PFG, like hoodie, but more importantly, two more Haller shirts? Dude, eight bucks a piece. Time to lot one of those up, or both. both. Nice. Yeah. I'm considering getting this dragon guy, pretty cool. 13 bucks. And that hat, of course. It's a Spencer Gifts thing, look at this. I don't know what I'll get for this in the booth, or I might just keep it. It's too neat, I'm sorry. That is just amazing. But you, you might be the real winner here. Yeah, so 130 on this one, and about, about uh, 70 bucks on this one right here. Nice, five bucks a piece, sealed yeah. basketball cards, Panini, it looks like. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you look them up and they're good. Yeah, I vouch for it, it looks pretty good too. Nice. Yeah, so that dragon, I'm gonna walk out with this dragon right here. This should bring between like, I don't know, 45 to maybe 65 in the booth. I paid, I think 13 for that out the door. This is a vintage mountain expedition, Ralph Lauren Climbers calfskin leather hat, right? Pretty nice. 
that should resell for my guess is honestly somewhere between 120 and 200 it's a really big spread but i mean this is pretty collectible stuff right there and a pair of ride snowboarding pants for myself size medium um, if i decide not to keep them they'll be able to uh, sell for right around 60 to 80 especially with that kind of colorway to them right there they're not plain color but 60 to 80 with this colorway people would totally love to pick that up i spent 15 on those you're going to walk with those cards right <clears throat> yep. nice those are sick make sure they stay in that condition i will don't mess them up I will. <laughs> you got some cool stuff too he's checking out those howler brothers shirts um which should sell between probably 40 and 50 a piece but then you bought you bought actually the snowboard pants that I passed on because I didn't want to hold them for too long, but then you're okay with holding for a little bit longer than I am. So that is about a $60 pair of pants. You paid 15 for them. Right around September is when that's going to be flippable. You got this Bible. What makes this Bible so special? It's leather bound and the uh, other teen Bibles um, are, aren't leather bound. And this leather bound one goes for about 35 to 40 bucks. Okay, how much you spend on that one? A Two dollar, bucks. A dollar. A dollar? Oh, even better. Nine, nine. All right, cool, man. Good scores. Looks like we all found some cheddar that's really good. And there's even Rick who's coming out. I think he's gonna buy some shoes and some 511 boots for women. I'm looking at that 7-Eleven. I'm looking at the 7-Eleven across the street. I'm gonna get a Slurpee right after this. But yeah, we. I knew we were gonna do well in one of these last two Goodwills, and I didn't think it was gonna be this one. I thought it was gonna be the last one, but this one's got good items. But sometimes you have to pay up for good items. But it seems like they've done a lot of the searching for you, right? The good items yeah, are just great there and waiting for you, man. Got some good stuff. Howler Brothers. Oh, Smith hat for yourself. That's so cool. I love that. Look at this guy. He's got some shoes to bucks going on here. 511 women's boots. Merrells. Merrells and some shocks. Cool, those Merrells right there, the waterproof ones as well. Pretty nice. Good condition. So, how, you know, the collective total here is what, like 40 I, bucks in shoes? I had, yeah. How much did you spend on the whole thing? Uh, 47? 60. 60? Yeah. Okay. So it's a little, normally I'd pay about 30. So you just sell this one pair right here for yeah, around 60. Yeah, these will sell about 65, 70. Yeah. The rest is just profit after yeah, that, right? And then these are probably Minus 45, shipping and fees, yeah. And these will sell probably 39. There you go. We all found some cheddar in the store, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, 7-Eleven, here we come. Oh, let's go Slurpee. I'm looking right at you. Oh, it's a vibin' water, light, 50% fewer calories, meaning it probably only has two calories. And it's spinning, it's waiting for me. All right, the day is coming to an end. I'm letting these hustlers out. And they're gonna grab their goods. I had a lot of fun. It was cool. Did you have fun? Oh yeah, it was great. <laughs> so how how far did you travel? An hour and a half to get here? Yeah, hour and a half. How, how how far did you travel? Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours to get here. You live in town. Thirty minutes. You're lucky. <laughs> and how far did you travel? Three hours. Three hours. Three and a half, Man, guys, thank you so much. All you guys, oh, yeah. thank you so oh, much for being here. I hope great it was time. worth your time. Like it was just an experimental thing for me to do, but I was like, I think we all found some good stuff. This is the cheddar right here. We got, we found some good stuff. I can't even tell what the best find of the day is. It's, it's all, you know, fun, good hat. stuff. What? Probably the hat. Maybe. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Hey, those things. I mean, that's pretty good too. Look how small that is for the punch. How much, how much, what are those we sell? So this one's one thirty, and this one's seventy bucks. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look how small okay, that is. That might be. The that might be it, man. That might be it. Yeah. Well, until next time, guys. Right. Yeah. Thanks for coming, thank all you. you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really good seeing those gentlemen. Really good consuming this Slurpee. I ain't gonna lie, the Slurpee was good. And the gentlemen that were in my car, they were good too. Good hustlers. A good day. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Gosh, that was a lot of fun. Let me know down below. Comment below. What did you think? See ya. Goodbye.